Alright, well, I'm going to go check on the fire truck today. I'll just check my gain on my amps back here. I'll go for a little cruise, listen to some music. Good there.
sound down audio, low voltage temperature. That's what that salt means, S A L T. And um, so it's 3,000 watts per 50. Got a um, lithium battery back there, bigger alternator under the hood. Just change out the radio and the EQ and the high end amp, which is why I got a little noise. I'm gonna go over to my Scott's house. Um, he's off today. He has a painting business. So. successful in Hounds County here. He does very well. I'll probably pull in the back. So they, after they rent them out, they rent them out on a Friday. They put them out. You get them for the weekend. And then Saturday, Sunday, and then he picks them up Monday. And then Tuesday is clean day. He blows every one up, every bounce house he blows up after he rent it out. And cleans them and disinfects them and lets them dry. So, so there's where the fire truck is sitting right now. I was gonna show you like, what the fire truck what we're doing. So. Come check on it. I'm gonna move it back with his line a little bit too today. So let me get my drink. Let me get my... It's not too bad. That was gonna be way hotter. I took it for a ride yesterday. We went around the block in it. So replacing the windows. That one was broke already. So I got a new one to put here, and I want to do the other one. I'll probably do that oh, this week or next week. It just takes time because we gotta mold it around there, which is you gotta heat it to get it around there. But it one broke out, uh, hauling it over over the road and state, and wind just blew it out. And this one, I hit I hit my boom on my old trailer, which I call it a boom. It's what I used to unload the tires and everything off of my trailer onto the ground. And I pulled up there, and the boom easy is is far and forward. It spun around right when I was pulling up, just spun around and went through the windshield, put a hole in it. That sucks. So here is Glory. It's bigger in person than it looks. It's this big truck. It's long, it's tall. And yes, that's a real jet motor. We're gonna hopefully do some jet shows uh, local here. We're gonna probably do something for the 4th of July with uh, Rob over here at his uh, uh, Riders Rentals, which is the bounce house business and slides. So we're gonna do some jet shows uh, just for fun. So there's a jet, there's where you get up in it. There are two ladders. And it holds nine people on each side. I gotta clean it up. It's just been the leaves that are from bring it here. We took back roads and like I said, we were trimming the trees. So So right now we're just hanging out here. I'm gonna come back next day to her. I'm gonna fuel up. I gotta check some fluids in it, check the um transmission temperature, motor temperature, motor temperature, that's stupid. Transmission fluid, oil, power steering fluid. You know, check all that good stuff in it. And uh, here's some back roads back here. It's pretty cool. And back here, they used to call it, we used to hang out here a long time ago. Uh, back behind um, Harder Hall here where we live. Called Snowman's. Or back in the days, it was, uh, it was always Snowman's, wasn't it? Or we called it, what did we used to call this? Harder Hall? No. I forget what you got. I guess it was always Snowman's, but it's a mud hole back there. But this is one of his big slides he got going. What's going on, bud? What's going on, bro? Hey. How you doing? Doing good, man. Doing good. At least the sun ain't. <laughs> you like that? We're all going to get together probably next week or so and take everybody for a ride down the road and go out. Definitely. I should be here. Yeah, we'll let you know. Hell yeah. <laughs> 
Thank you, man. <laughs> hey, yeah, with a jet in the back. We're gonna try to do something for the Fourth of July. He's been trying to do something with the uh, the slides yeah, and do a show. So we're trying. We're just gonna find an area to do it. But look up, Robert Ryder Rental. This is just only two of dozens of slides. They're all brand Best new. Selections too. Yeah, huge selection, man. He's got anything you would want. Check them out. But uh, what you gotta watch when you're renting slides is this. This is the biggest deal. These slides were rented this weekend, all right? This is Tuesday. When he picks them up, he comes here, they blow them up, and him, Rob, and a bunch of other people, they come out here and they clean them. Now when they do a clean them, they disinfect them. And then they let them dry, and then they, then they fold them back up. And there's some companies out there, places that don't really do that. But the good thing, the, the bad thing is, if you don't do it, especially if it's a wet slide, and you had a customer's house, you just rolled up, it gets mildewy. And I've seen those when uh, a buddy of mine, Derek, was looking for slides. We went looked at them, had mildew all over them because the original owner or the people take care of them after the after the um, the rental they didn't come out here and clean them they you got to air them up each one you got to air up and you got to clean them if not that mildew and all that water and stuff there and so anyway i'll try to keep the video short just give you an idea what's happening i'll probably make some more videos of the truck riding around we're gonna go down here to snowman's one weekend we're gonna got a bunch of friends that live out here on this road um uh my mind just quit working with me but I got um, George, which owns a cell phone business, a really good friend of mine. He lives right down here. Rob, I live back here. I got a couple other guys. This guy is Bellinger. I've been knowing him from way back. He does videos, commercials, and all kinds of cool stuff. And uh, we get everybody together. When they got kids, we're going to put everybody back here. We're going to go for a really long ride back here in the woods. We're going to go down the roads. And This road is so popular on Friday nights and Saturday nights. When we came in, we, we had a semi right here on the side to unload. And this is four-wheelers and side-by-sides. And... And the golf carts. Everybody comes in here because they go right down there, a little past that truck on the right, and there's an the entrance. There's you go. I think back there will take you there too. But it's a big mud hole, and there's a lot of trails back there. It's really cool. This used to be really big. I used to go out here every Sunday. Uh, I say about 10, 10 years ago. But um, things are changing here and there. But still, it's a really great place to stay. So, all right, guys. Good watching the video. I'm glad everybody's watching the video, and I'll talk to everybody soon. Thank you, and have a great day.